Hello, welcome back. This is video number five of our 10 part series. Uh, we're talking about females age 25 to 65 struggling with chronic illness, and they also own a business and or entrepreneurs, and they're finding it difficult to get back into work. I was struck by COVID in March of 2020, and it's been over three and a half years now, and I'm getting back into work, but there's some desires, frustrations, fears, some dreams, and even some wants that people like myself who are struggling with chronic illness are feeling. We've already talked about effective treatments because as you know, when you're having chronic illness, there's not always an effective treatment uh, to help navigate or help to heal you, to move you from point A to point B. We've talked about understanding and limited resources and research uh, for your illness. I know like with Lyme disease, sometimes it goes misdiagnosed or undiagnosed and a supportive community. And we also spoke about healthcare, accessing to help better healthcare um, and the frustrations that lead to that. This is video number five. We're gonna talk about the emotional well-being. And sometimes that's our desire, right? We want to have an emotional well-being support. Uh, that could look like self-care, soul care, um, confidence building. Uh, when you are working on yourself, that could be like your reading or traveling or your decluttering. I know I just decluttered my closet with a change of seasons. Just even mindful uh, breathing, deep breathing, uh, sleeping, exercising, going outside for a walk. These are all just really great things of where you can easily access for self-care. I believe that how one of the frustrations though, and oftentimes when you are sick with a chronic illness, you are told that it's in your head and the stigmati they're stigmatized, right? You're stigmatized about that it's in your head that it's only happening to you, but it's not true. And when you go to doctors as well, they gaslight you and you're put in this box of stigma saying that how you're not believed. Um, and also your outcast, right? Uh, there's sometimes where the doctors just pass you off to another, um, maybe a PA or something or a nurse, or even just a family members, right? They are stigmatizing you for um, having this disease. I know that happened to me where people are like, oh, you talk about COVID, COVID, COVID. Um, well, it's what I'm experiencing and it's no different than someone talking about cancer or heart disease or brain surgery. It's just a different way of living. So that's been a huge frustration. One of my dreams though is to improve the quality of my life. I went from being in a coma on a ventilator and trach. I was in a coma for 30 days and on a ventilator and trach for six weeks. It took me seven, 69 days in the hospital uh, and about three and a half years still going, uh, counting those days, that I just want to improve the quality of my life. And I started to do that through some self-care, which was exercising and traveling, setting boundaries, uh, practicing gratitude, manifestations, things like that to inc increase the quality of my life. And if you're finding any value in this, make sure that you share this video with some friends or anybody that else is feeling like they're alone because they're not alone. And I think that that's the fear, right? The fear is the isolation that you are not only being stigmatized, but you're also isolated, the feeling of loneliness. So I feel that fear, fear too, where you feel unsupportive. And that's why one of the desires is to have a supportive community. And if you're looking for a supportive community, you can go to covidwellnessclinic.com, covidwellnessclinic.com and join our support group in our online program so that you can have assistance at home on how to recover safely in the comfort of your own home and that you won't be isolated. So that was one of the fears that I was discovering because when I was navigating this new life of living with a chronic illness, I felt really isolated because there's not a lot of people that understood what I was going through. And that included my family, my friends, and even medical professionals. So I created a group, a support group, COVID Wellness, COVID Wellness Clinic that you can go to and be part of our support group. So we have one on Clubhouse, COVID Wellness, and then we also have it on Facebook and Instagram, COVID Wellness Clinic. So you can definitely hook up with us there. And one of the things too that we are struggling with is the pain. 
the pain, the chronic pain. So you have this chronic illness, but you also have this chronic pain, whether it be like backache or stomach, bones and joints. And you can also feel that your body is like compressing, right? I actually shrunk. I used to be five, six, now I'm five, five. And I could feel my body compressing um, from all of this pain that I have and like a slouch and stuff. So I think that how we want to feel better and I, and that's why we have so many medications we're just trying to figure out playing devil's advocate see what works so this is today's topic emotional well-being i hope that you found value please go ahead and share um, and also join our support group and uh, be part of our program covid wellness clinic i'll see you on video